Hello from Portacot. This is Dr. Solan. So here is the central AC system as you could see. Some duct work. This is the basement where we have our solar power. Well, not actually, they don't have solar, they have battery backup. So we have, uh, we actually have three Victron Quattro's. Uh, we had to send one back for service. We're hoping to get it back later today. So this is the master and this is the slave. The batteries are currently being charged. We have four batteries, we're missing four more. We'll be adding four to bring it to a total of um, 24 batteries. Had we had time, we would have preferred to have done a lithium ion solution for this customer, but we didn't have time and their needs were pretty urgent. So we did, um, we added additional batteries, which is not the best way for us to go about this. The batteries, as you could see, are in bulk. They are being charged by the grid. This is set to provide backup of about an hour to two, and when the battery voltage falls to a set point, it starts the generator, powers the house, and charges the batteries. So they have 16 kVA. When the other one comes back, it'll be a total of 24 kVA. I'm going to take you to go show you the pressure vessel or pressure tank. They do not have a pressure pump and they do not have a, what do you call it, they don't have um, overhead or they don't have overhead storage. There's actually no water storage in this property. So what we've done is we've used what you call a pressure vessel or a pressure tank. Here is a pressure tank, it's 120 gallons and it's connected directly to the well. So let me put some lights on here where the lights. Um, you can see the fittings and it goes from here into a well. Okay? So let me see. Da -da -da, let me follow this setting. So they have a surface well pump instead of an in-ground well pump. And the water comes in the pressure vessel. The pressure vessel has a pressure switch which is this and this pressure switch turns on the water pump when there is demand and then fills the tank in real time. This pump is on the inverter, so it's on, it's on, a, on a battery backup. As you can see, these are the fittings. I, I provided these fittings and I provided the tank and they have water all the time in real time. So hopefully, uh, this gives you a, let me stand next to it. I'm about 6'2". Hopefully you can see me, I'm about 6'2". And you can see that the vessel is a little taller than I am. This is much better than you doing those um, ugly times outside. And this is inside the house. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Port So here yeah, is more right. about the water. Remember, we have a pressure vessel I had shown you. So let me show you what the water pressure looks like when you turn the tap on. You hear that? You don't explain where the Nigeria is at the bottom. So do you hear it? That's what a pressure vessel does. It creates incredible amount of pressure, and that's our pressure vessel right there. Uh, correction from yesterday, this pump is not in use. This pump was for a, an alternate, alternative, which you see up there, that they'd uh, done before the pressure vessel was installed. And the pressure vessel will still function even when there is no electricity. It will keep functioning till all the water drains, and then you run out of water, and there is, um, about 120 gallons of water in that tank. Is it 160 or 120? I don't remember exactly. So, it's a fantastic idea. You only have one pump, it doesn't have to be too big, and it only fills a little bit at a time instead of trying to fill a ridiculous amount of water, so your energy consumption is much lower, and you saw the pressure that's coming from when I turned the tap on. This makes for incredible showers. Let me see if I can turn the shower on without getting wet. So here is the shower. And I know I'm going to get wet. Um, yeah. You ever see that? Pretty good, right? You see the shower? And you can hear it, right? So that's it on uh, the pressure vessel or the pressure tank. Uh, feel free to ask me more questions.